Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Bowman Baseball, six box hobby edition, half case, random team break number five. One chase the mantle entry being given away, no paper ships, blah, 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 blah. Big thank you to this group right here for making it happen. And all 30 teams are in no combos. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Six and a six, 12 times each. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time. After twelve, we got Nathan all the way down to Matt. And everyone in between, let's randomize you a team. Six into six, twelve times for the baseball teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time, six into six. We got the Brew Crew down to the Oakland Athletics. All right. Nathan with the Brewers, Taylor with the Cardinals, Brian with the Braves, Matt with the Orioles, Jeremy with the Cubs, Matt with the Astros, Eric with the Tigers, Tristan with the Nets, Scott with the Diamondbacks, Taylor with the Yankees, Mike with the San Francisco Baseball Giants, Jeremy with the Reds, Tristan, you got my Dodgers, Jerry with the Padres, David with the Mets, Mike with the Guardians, Brian with the Royals, uh, Michael with the Rockies, Nestor with the Red Sox, Travis with the Angels, David with the Rangers and White Sox, Tristan with the Marlins, Matt with the Rays, Scott with the Twins, Matthew with the Mariners, David with the Pirates, Taylor with the Phillies, Nestor with the Blue Jays, Matt Lieber with the Oakland A's. All right, so now let's sort by team. And we're gonna pause the video for just a little bit. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, then we'll have a break, so stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so the list right here remains the same here on, uh, on the 22nd. Random team number five. Uh, Jeremy, last spot, Mojo, Cubs. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. Here's the hobby case right here. Um, I'm going to actually pop this open on this cart right here. You can see it on my face camera right over here. Fresh case. empty box. So we're going to roll the die. We'll go one, two, three for this side, four, five, six for this side. Die will be rolled right here. And three. One, two, three, this side. And this will save for next time. All right, one auto a box. We've got Casey Mize and Hexton Kirkstad on the box. Hexton Kirkstad got the call up recently. Gilo, what's going on? And I think he's doing okay. We got uh, Spider-Man, far from home, on in the background. Who else is in 21? Don't know. Heston Kirk's Todd Casey Mize. I guess we're going to find out as we go through this.
A lot of packs in this, strong adhesive. 2020 is such a weird year in baseball and life. Yeah, what had, what had, I guess we were still right at the height of the pandemic in 2021 or year two of the, 2020 was the pandemic? 2021 still aftermath of? Jay Loke is saying uh, Kobe Mayo also, Austin Martin, Blaze Jordan, Amador is in there. Yeah, by this is 2021, by now we should start seeing a lot of these, uh, the prospects. We should start seeing them come up this year, next year, soon. So no paper will ship. Obviously, stuff like this will ship. <laughs> and there's our autograph, Andy Rodriguez. That's going to be for David M. and the Mets. We'll do a little autograph recap at the end of these, too. Brandon, what's going on? How do I feel about Dodgers designating James Paxton? Uh, I think it makes sense. You know, we've got Tyler Glass now, Clayton Kershaw coming back, Walker Bueller's probably coming back. And I think they're thinking that... You know, they're unlikely to put him on a playoff roster, so you may as well try to get something for James Paxton. I think they did him a solid by uh, by starting him recently because then his full contract vests. I think he had to make like X amount of starts to, um, to have his all the guarantees in his contract be fully guaranteed. Here's Ed Howard for the Cubs. Paper to three ninety nine. Obviously, this kind of paper will ship. That'll be for Jeremy and the Cubs. So yeah, I think you know, I think the Dodgers are gonna try to see if they could, they could put him somewhere, see what they can get from him. There's a lot of a uh, lot of teams out there that could use some starting pitching. So I think that makes sense. There's Luis Castillo to 299. Yeah, they, they showcase him nationally on Sunday Night Baseball, and he looked, looked pretty good. Tyler Soderstrom to 125. It'll be for the A's. That's going to go to Matt. There's box one. Box two. We've got about a... Uh, well, when's the trade deadline? What did they say? 22nd? I think in eight days? I would imagine there, there'll, there'll be... There's got to be some trades, right? I think the the what am I trying to say here? There used to be two quote unquote deadlines, right? There was the trade deadline at the end of July, and then there was the 
I think there was like a waiver deadline or something like that at the end of August. But I think that st no longer exists. Now everything is, the deadline is at the end of July for all trans transactions. Couple that with the fact that um, the expanded wildcard, right, kind of has made for, you know, the last, what, tr couple trade deadlines a little bit sleepier. But we'll see. We'll see what happens this year. There's been a lot of injuries. And I'm sure teams are, you know, even teams that started off the season with a lot of depth find themselves with, hey, I think we got a little more holes than we think. So we'll see what teams do. Right, like Braves, they've lost Ozzy Albies again for an extended period of time, and they've got Ronald Cunha Jr. out for the remainder of the season. And they've picked up Whit Merrifield. Um, what other news? I, there's reports that Cubs are not expected to be deadline buyers. Doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be fire sellers, though. Max Fried is on the injured list. So there's some some transactions percolating here. Yeah, adding a third wild card all created an always sellers market. Always well not necessarily sell uh People not selling, right? Maybe teams that are standing pat a little more often, I feel like. A lot of, a lot of people want to buy, but reluctant sellers because a lot of teams think they're still in the wild card. So I think that kind of suppresses uh, some significant transactions. We'll see how this year turns out. Yeah, River River Ryan, for those of you who are prospectors, Dodgers calling up another pitching prospect to give it a shot for their sort of thinnish uh, starting rotation. So he's gonna get a spot start today. We'll see. We'll see how he does. There's Andrew Dahlquist, 5 out of 25, Orange Shimmer. Sellers get more for their, that's true, yeah, because their competition, they, yeah, so the price for a pitcher like Tariq Skubal, I don't think he'll eventually get moved, but the price for Tariq Skubal gets, you know, pretty high for teams that are looking for that kind of quality pitching. Might be a big haul for Garrett Crochet as well. So we'll see what happens. We we got we've got about eight days until the trading deadline. We're gonna see what moves get made. There's Eusebio Diaz, 114 out of 150, blue shimmer. Going to the O's, that'll be for Matt. And our autograph is Jefferson Espinal. Bowman first autograph going to Scott and the Diamondbacks, the Snakes. Bobby Miller trying to figure things out in the minors. I don't know if he's made a start yet since the All-Star break. There's Alex Kirlov, 
to $3.99. That'll be for the twins, that'll be for Scott. And we got Ryan Vallott, purple paper, little color match, 61 out of 250. Rockies, that'll be for Michael. TradeRumors.com has a uh, I can't find it right now, but they have a top 50 like free agent list or not free agent list trade candidate list I'm not sure what the ranking is here. As such, the ranking is more of a blend of likelihood of a deal and impact of the player in question. The names top of the list are going to be those that both seem likely to move and carry the most potential significant impact for the acquiring team. Blah, 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 blah. So this is not a best player list. This is player quality as well as likely tradeability. Uh, Jack Flaherty for the Tigers is going to be one of the top rental arms, I guess. He signed a one-year deal and he's been looking pretty good. 95 innings, 3.13 ERA, 32.1% strikeout rate. That's great. And a 4.3% walk rate. Percent walk rate. That's amazing. I know a lot of teams probably interested in Jack Flaherty. Um, Garrett Crochet, um, who has got a lot of injury issues, and I think he's going to be hitting career highs in terms of innings, but he's going to be pretty popular. People are talking, teams are talking to Carlos Estevez for the Angels, bullpen guy along with Tanner Scott for the Marlins, another bullpen guy. A lot of people need bullpen guys. Um, Jazz Chisholm. I mean, maybe he need, just needs a change of scenery. There's a growing belief that Miami may move that, uh, move the sort of second baseman outfielder. He's got some injuries. That's kind of, kind of gotten in the way. Could, could use a change of scenery. Another White Sox pitcher, Eric Fetty. Might be on the move. We'll go through the rest of the list over the next few boxes here. Good luck. Auto popping early here. It's Jose Salas, speaking of the fish. 108 out of 499 refractor autograph for Miami. That's going to go to Tristan. Shout out your baseball team, everybody. What kind of moves would you like to see them make? Here's Emerson Hancock, 12 out of 25. Mariners, Mariners could use some hitting. Will they, will they do it? Will they acquire it? Everyone knows what they need. The Astros have caught up to them. Fans are frustrated already out there. At least the fans that check in with us here at Jaspies. I 
situation. I have any business. I have my family. This is not a game. This is my Here's the Bowman first to Austin Martin. This is Blue Jays edition for Nestor. Who's with the, the twins, I think, now. Great show. He's got... A great story. I think he's gotten a little bit of time in the majors. Has he? Or has he not? He's up, right? Yeah, he's up. He's doing okay. I think he was up in a March and April, and a little bit of May. And I think he was went back to the minors, maybe was injured, and then came back mid June. He's hitting 252 on the season, a 668 OPS. So getting his getting his career started, he's got a got a bit of a ceiling. There's Jaron Duran, and there's JJ Bladé, 106 out of 299. All right, we're halfway through this half case break. Uh, who else? Zach Little, Zach Eflin, a couple Zachs from the Rays could be on the move. They gotta, they they gotta make way for Shane Boz is coming back from Tommy John. Jeffrey Springs, Drew Rasmussen on their ways back too. So there's there's going to be a little bit of surplus in that Rays starting rotation. Are the Blue Jays going to be sellers? Maybe Danny Jansen, Yusai Kikuchi, Trevor Richards, Vlad Guerrero Jr. maybe. Robert, if he stay healthy, if he can stay healthy, that would be a great pickup for anybody and for any team. But I think the White Sox are going to ask for a lot. Brent Rooker, Kyle Finnegan, Hunter Harvey. Those are some names. Could Kopech get moved? Jesse Winker for the Nats. They got Randy Arzarena on this list. Who's starting to heat up again. But I think... I think he's still under team control, but the, the price to, to, to keep him even through arbitration is getting more and more expensive. You know, so. I 
would love to love for the Dodgers to 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 pick up Arzarena. They've the outfield is a little shaky outside of Teoscar Hernandez. Could play out of the corners. We can get Arzarena. Stick him in left field. Here's Cubs Chris Bryant. It's 299. We settled that spot. Move some one of the youngsters, probably Miguel Vargas, to a to a bench role, maybe third base, which is another sort of question mark there. Like our auto is coming up. And it's gonna be Bowman first autograph for the Yankees, Antonio Gomez. That's gonna be for Taylor and the Bronx Bombers. Are they making, they're, they're gonna make another Spider-Man with Tom Holland? I've got Spider-Man No Way Home on in the background. This thing's the middle of the trilogy. Twenty twenty one Bowman Baseball. He's unhinged. The stereo is unhinged, ladies and gentlemen.
right. Box five of six. And auto popping early here. That's Stevie Emanuel's Bowman first autograph for the A's. Matt. Uh, there's Jackson Rutledge to 399. 002 at 399. Lime green paper, Tristan. Tanner Hawk, 67 out of 399 rookie card. Um, Tanner Hawk actually having a great season. Tanner Hawk Tua. Um, what, what are his numbers looking like this year? Yeah, he's got a 2 8 war, 2 5 4 ERA. He's 8 and 6 on the season through 19 starts. 117 innings, 112 strikeouts, a 1-0-3 whip. That'll go to the Red Sox. That's going to go to Nestor. It's Tyler Freeman to 250, purple chrome. Going to Mike and Cleveland. This is for you. There's Trevor Bauer to 150, Reds edition going to Jeremy. And last box coming up. Deadpool movie looks pretty good. Let's check that out. If you have moderate severe ulcerative colitis, you may 
Crohn's disease? Put it in check with Rinfoak, a one-stay trip. Symptoms trying to take control, I got breath and release, and reduce fatigue with Rinfoak. Check. When Flair's kept trying to slow me down, I got plastic steroid free remission with Rinfoak. Check. When my doctor saw damage, Rinfoak helped visibly reduce damage in the intestinal lining. Juicy and grilled, rapid symptom relief, lasting steroid free revision, and visibly reduced damage. Check, check, and check. We've got some baseball games in progress, right? Yankees beat the uh, Rays earlier today, nine to one. Uh, Tigers are leading the Guardians four to one. Pittsburgh's up one nothing on the Cardinals in the bottom of the fourth. Mets up on the Marlins four to one, middle of the fourth. End of the second, Reds have an early lead, 1-0 on the Braves in Atlanta. Phillies Twins delayed, looks like weather. Brewers at Cubs about to start, Diamondbacks at Royals about to start. Later on the day, White Sox at Rangers, Red Sox at Rockies, Astros at A's, Angels at Mariners, and the Giants are in town. Giants are, my Dodgers hosting the Giants. River Ryan on the mound, making his... Major League debut, I believe. There's Hedbert Perez, 134 out of 250, our final autograph of the break. Nathan Smith with the Brew Crew tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Don't forget to add sausage, Picasso. Keep it juicy. Austin Martin, Chrome Card. There's Ian Anderson, 295 out of 499 for the Braves. That'll be for Brian. And we got Nick Lofton, 18 out of 25, orange paper for the Royals. That'll be for Brian. Hi guys, it's Blaze Jordan Bowman first. That'll be for Nestor and Boston. Spencer Torkelson to 150. Let's hope he figures things out. This will go to Detroit. The, that's going to go to the Air Clicks. The Air Clicks? Air Clicks. That's that, my friends. 2021 Bowman Baseball in the books. Quick little auto recap. And now let's also give away an entry. We're chasing the mantle. Running out of entries too, keep that in mind. So one entry given away here. Let's gather everybody's names. Good luck, everybody. Let's gather all of your names, new dice, new list, and name on top. Uh, after five, three and a two, we'll be chasing the mantle. Good luck. One, two, three, 
four, and fifth and final time. Now, as I was mentioning, the, um, the breaks that say chase the mantle on the site, those are our last breaks um, that we're chasing the mantle for those particular breaks, right? So like the next Bowman baseball break won't be a chase the man mantle entry. Um, the final 20 spots, there are gonna be two big mixers that we're gonna do to give away the final 20 spots, 10 in each. So just keep that in mind. All right, after five, three and a two, congrats to Nestor. You're chasing the mantle. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.